Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to share how you can very quickly create the year to date calculation and then you can compare it with the total. So that's something again a very common requirement that you create an year to date calculation and uh, you know either show it standalone or you basically show it um, as the as the comparison with the total or total sales like you have four years of date to total sales or last two years of total sales and compare it with the current year to date sales so if you have a situation like this then you can easily do it using the uh, power bi inbuilt uh, functionality and before that just a quick information that this sheet which is a live sheet in the google spreadsheet is present in the description so that uh, you can access it easily and if you have a need you want to search any specific topic or you want to learn one by one or you want to create your own learning plan then you can create it using the tutorials that i have put it here also since it is a live sheet once i will add more future videos here it will be you will be having it the most up-to-date sheet with you so keep it in your uh, bookmark, bookmark it in your Power BI learning library and uh, you will have it on your tips whenever you need it. All right, so with that, let's come to Power BI. So in Power BI, what do I have is a very simple chart as you can see the bar chart. Uh, there you have the sales and subcategory. So you have these subcategories and their respective sales. So this is a sales of past uh, three or four years. But if we want to compare with the latest year sales, then what we can do is we can come over here, come to the new quick measure. And over here, we can go down and simply say year to date total calculation. So this is based on sum of sales. And here is the date that you need to put. So here is the state and over here order date is something which I will going to put it and I'll click OK. So now it will going to create a calculation and as you will see you have the total and in comparison with that what is the current year to date total uh, that you are having for these respective categories. So that's basically a quick very quickly you can create a scenario that probably your user is asking. As to let's say for example you have the previous year sale you have the current year to date sales then what are their comparison so very very quick quickly you can you can do all of these things easily on here you will see that sales year to date is something what is the calculation is present and uh, total ytd is basically the function that they are using uh, and configuring it with based on the parameters that we are providing right so that's one thing but if let's say one you, you want to figure it out as to what this what these values are whether this is for a latest year or for the uh, for which particular year then probably you may need to create this chart uh, let's say for example i create a new page and over here i create this chart same chart again and just filter it so over here what we have is the access is subcategory we have values as sales and uh, this is the same chart and if i create a slicer and i just add let's say the year to the slicer so you will see that 2020 is the latest year so i will put this all to 2020 and you will see that the values for example accessories values um what is this row no okay well, let me just come here Okay, row ID, no, not the row ID. I need the sales. So accessories is what you are having is the 59946 for 2020. And uh, that is what you are getting 59946 over here. Just in case, you know, you are wondering which value it is because dynamically this, this calculation, the YTD calculation dynamically is basically doing this piece. So that's mainly I wanted to show you as to how you can do this configuration very quickly and do the comparison if you need it. Just need to bring in the relevant fields and you have the information with you. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with any topic.